So we're going to talk about dot sourcing and dot sourcing can be really helpful. It can be a headache as well. Um, so let's say that you have a function that you're working on and you think it's going to change over time. You want to use it in other scripts, but you don't want to stick it in all those other scripts because you're going to change it. And then to keep it up to date, you're, after gonna, you're gonna have to go into each and every one of those scripts and change the code. Or maybe you have some uh, variables or, or data that you wanna use, but those variables could change as well. So it'd be easier if you had these things stored in a central file, and then you could just pull them into whatever script you were gonna use them in. And especially if there's multiple scripts that you wanna use it in. And we can easily do that by using dot sourcing. So dot sourcing, as it, its name sort of implies, you use a dot and then you provide it a source for the files that you would like to take data from or take code from. Uh, so in this case, I have a period followed by a space and then I have a file called awesome variable and I'll show you right now, I don't, I don't have any awesome variables. I would like some awesome variables. So um, let's even open up uh, where are they? Where'd they go? Awesome variable. So I have two variables defined in awesome variable.ps1, but I can't access them right now. Well, with dot sourcing, I can change that. So now I have access to awesome variable one. Yeah. And then I have access to awesome variable two. No. But, uh, what if you want to do that with functions as well? Well, we can dot source with functions. Let's go over to awesome function. So I have a uh, awesome function here and I, I could run it here, but I want to pull it into this script because I don't intend to run awesome function. So uh, you'll see that I do not have a awesome function at the moment. I'm tabbing. You can see tab completion in the bottom left. But when I run this dot sourcing, I can tab complete and my awesome function is there. I'm pretty, you are pretty awesome function. Uh, so let's take a look at awesome function again, but let's change it a little bit. I'm pretty awesome. So we'll save that. We'll come back and we will run our dot sourcing line over here. So when we run that and try to run awesome function again, you'll notice that it has changed as well. So if this was a function that I wanted to use in scripts pretty often, but I didn't want to include them in the scripts or I just wanted to have uh, fewer lines of code in my script then I could put this in another file. Now there are issues um, that come up with with scopes and uh, defining variables that you might be using twice in a script uh, so you have to be careful about that you have to be careful about what you're using when you're dot sourcing um, but if you come up with any issues Google it it's half the fun, it's figuring things out. Um, but that's the basics of dot sourcing. So that's it. Thanks for watching.